Welcome to TSC, coming to you from peg number seven. This week we hear how the world's richest man has given $10 million to clay shooting. And we've got some ideas for last minute Christmas shopping. Coming up after this. Vladimir Lysin was voted in as the new president of the ISSF, the International Governing Body for Shooting, and immediately pledged to put $10 million of his own money into a development fund for the sport. That's around £8 million in our money. Russian steel billionaire Lysin is the Federation's first new leader for 38 years, and he's already making an impact. As well as pouring millions into developing the sport, he's campaigning to get shooting reinstated as part of the Birmingham 2022 Commonwealth Games. Soon after being appointed, he flew to the UK with an ISSF delegation for a meeting with the Games organisers. They handed over an appeal from 159 ISSF member federations and made the case for including shooting in the Games. A response is expected from the Games organisers in mid-January, so we'll update you when that happens. Meanwhile, the $10 million fund will be allocated by the trustees to three different groups. Those are, firstly, ISSF member federations that need help to develop shooting in their countries. Second, member federations that get quota places for the Tokyo 2020 Olympic Games. And thirdly, to the athletes who lead the ISSF rankings at the end of the year. It remains to be seen what, if any, of that money will come Britain's way, but it's certain to help shooting develop worldwide, which can only be a good thing. Now, Christmas is almost here, and hopefully you've got all your shopping under control. But if you're hunting for a few last-minute presents, then do take a look at the Oxford Gun Company. The shop is open this Thursday to Saturday from 9 to 5.30, then again on Monday, Christmas Eve, until 3 o'clock. It doesn't get much more last-minute than that. The staff will be happy to give you advice on ideas for presents for any type of shooter or someone who just enjoys getting out into the countryside. They've got a huge range of country clothing, boots and more to choose from. And if you're still stuck for ideas, there's always a gift voucher, either for goods in the shop or for shooting instruction. You don't even need to visit the shop for that one. It can all be done over the phone. So that's Christmas sorted and we hope you have a good one. If you're like me, once Christmas is over, you'll be itching to get outside and do some shooting. And once again, it's the Oxford Gun Company to the rescue. They're open again on Thursday the 27th. That's the day after Boxing Day. You can book a lesson or a have-a-go session, or shoot a practice round on the sporting layout. Plus, the New Year's sale gets underway in the shop, so you can grab yourself a bargain too. They'll be open the Thursday, Friday and Saturday after Christmas then again on New Year's Eve from 9 to 3, before closing for New Year's Day itself and opening again as normal on Thursday the 3rd. The details are all on the Facebook page or at oxfordguncompany.co.uk. Now, here's my pick of the latest shooting videos on YouTube. This one's by Andrea Cavlia. I hope I'm saying that right. And it's a lovely film about a day's driven shooting at Conholt Park on the Hampshire-Wiltshire border. To watch it, click on the link in the description below. Well, that's it for this week's news. Thanks for watching. And please give us a thumbs up if you liked it. It really does help. We're back on Thursday with another video. So hit that subscribe button and the little bell too so you get notifications. And do please support our sponsors when you're choosing a new gun, cartridges, clothing and what have you. See you Thursday.